If we want to draw an angle, one tool we can use is a protractor. In order to draw an angle with a protractor, I first need to create a ray. To do that, I can simply use the bottom edge of my protractor as a straight edge to draw a line. We know rays will go on forever in one direction, so that means I can use the other edge as my vertex. On my protractor, I have my circle here in the middle to line up my vertex, and then I can line up my ray along that black line. When I do, if I want to draw a 90 degree angle, I can simply come around to 90 degrees and make a mark where it's going to be. Again, I can use my protractor as a straight edge and connect my mark to my bottom ray. Now, we're going to label it with a box in a corner to show it's 90 degrees. We have our angle. We can use our protractor to draw an acute 50 degree angle as well. Again, I'm going to use my protractor as a straight edge to create my first ray. I'm going to then line up my vertex with the circle and my bottom ray along that black line. Now, I have two 50 degree measures on here. I have a 50 degrees here and I have a 50 degrees here. Well, we know 50 degrees is an acute angle measuring less than 90. So one way we can tell is this one comes before my 90 degrees, so that must be 50 degrees. My other choice is look at where my bottom ray is. This will be considered zero degrees, and then my angles need to increase from there. To do that, I would have to follow the inside arc, meaning again, I would be using this 50 degrees. So we're going to make a mark by that 50 degrees. Now we can pick up our protractor and use that mark to connect to our vertex to create the other ray of our angle. We're going to go ahead and label an arc on the inside to show which way we turned, and now we know that we have our 50 degree angle. I need to draw a 135 degree obtuse angle. So again, I'm going to start by using my protractor to create my bottom ray. Only instead of my ray pointing off to the right, I'm going to have it point off here to the left. That means I need to line up my vertex on this end. When I line it up on this end to get to 135 degrees, there's 135 degrees here between 120 and 130. There's also 135 degrees here between 130 and 140. To know which one to use, I know it needs to be obtuse, so I know it needs to be the one that goes beyond 90. I can also look to see which way my ray is pointing. Since this is considered zero degrees and I want my values to increase, I would be following the outside arc. When we follow the outside arc, again, we're using this 135 degrees. I can make my mark there and then use my protractor as a straight edge to connect that back to my vertex. I'm going to label to show the direction that I measured and we now have a 135 degree angle. We need to draw a 250 degree reflex angle. The problem is our protractor only measures up to 180 degrees. In order to do that, we need to remember the 250 degree reflex angle plus the angle on the inside combined to make a complete circle worth 360 degrees. So that's where we're going to start by taking our 360 degree circle and subtracting the 250 degree reflex angle we're trying to draw. This leaves us with 110 degrees, which we know is going to be the angle on the inside of our reflex angle. 110 degrees we can draw with our protractor. So we're going to start by using our protractor as a straight edge to make a ray, line up at the vertex. Since this is zero degrees, 110 degrees, I'm going to be following in on the inside arc, and 110 degrees, make a mark, and connect that to my vertex. Now, we know this inside part is 110 degrees, but we want the reflex part out here. So, 110 degrees plus my 250 degree reflex angle together make my complete circle, so I know the outside reflex is my 250 degrees.